Air pollutants come from different origins. There are, of course, natural air pollutants, biogenic, emitted by vegetation or generated by wind. But we are focused on anthropogenic air pollutants. And anthropogenic air pollutants come from humanity activities, mainly industry, transportation, agriculture. Air pollution has a global toll of mortality and morbidity across the globe. Some pollutants affect through the respiratory system, so by inhaling them, they just aggravate asthma, for example. There is actually known associations between exposure to air pollutants and cardiovascular disease and stroke, exposure to certain volatile organic compounds. Some of them are known to be carcinogenic. Exposure to some pollutants was found to lead to cognitive disorders, uh, developmental disorders, and that is why we are looking at exposure to air pollutants that have specific association with specific adverse health effects. The research is a basically an initiative of two faculties in Technion, the Civil and Environmental Faculty and the Faculty of Medicine. This is interdisciplinary study. In the Civil and Environmental Engineering, we are mostly looking at the environmental part, starting from emissions, through dispersion, through fate, and then looking at exposure. And in the Medical Faculty, we are looking at toxicology, effects on the enzymes, effects on specific cells, and also at uh, the epidemiology of this process. The process starts with uh, collecting a lot of data. It's a huge amount of data uh, on emissions and on concentrations. And then we do a lot of modeling, statistical analysis, mapping, in order to be able to try to see whether there is association and linkage between exposure to certain pollutant and health effect which is measured. The research that we do here can help both on a national scale and on a global scale. We are among the few groups global-wise that are trying to link remote sensing from satellite to ground levels of pollution. So in places where there is no ground monitoring station and air pollution is not monitored, you still can get data if you are using satellite observations, remote sensing. This is a hot topic now of research that is done in Europe, in the States and in Israel. We are one of the few groups worldwide that are trying to deploy microsensor network to measure air pollution. Part of our mission is to increase the Israeli capacity raising or training students. We are the only purely technological university in Israel that has also medical school and also a hospital associated with the technology, so we have clinicians. Haifa is the major industrial area in Israel, which includes heavy industry, petrochemical industry, agrochemical industry, food industry. All these things together make the Technion and Haifa a perfect place to do this kind of research and to be a leader in this field.